Hello, so this is the Anway Pony, and I decided to talk a little bit about another fan fiction. But since it is a rather short fiction, and there is not too much to say about it that is not already known, I thought, yeah, rambling about it for a few minutes should be enough. So the story I want to talk about is My Little Dashy. First, do I think this story is good as a narrative? And the answer is no. And now I'm going to elaborate why I think so. First of all, we have the protagonist who is as blank slate as possible. And this is on purpose. I mean, I mean I'm not sure if the author really consciously did this. You have a character who is so bland and without original features that you have no problem projecting yourself in this character and this is not something bad i want to say this is a message of storytelling you make the character absolutely accessible this way so people have a very very easy time to jump into this character and identify with him even so he doesn't really have features it is an easy way i it is not a bad way but it is an easy way so, first we have this protagonist who is simply a projection field, where you can project yourself into. Then, the story itself, I'm not going to spoil the ending, even so it, at this point I believe it is kind of unnecessary, but yo, I will not spoil the ending, there is an ending, something happens at the ending, but before this the story is really pretty much... Uh, not much happening it is really just slice of life and it's literal if you take it literally because there are very there are few slices out of life that are played into order and yeah you have this human he is a human in the reality the reality as she is even including the fact that my little pony is actually a television show so it's really the real world as real as it can be and this human comes across a box in the street, and in this box is Rainbow Dash Philly. No cutie mark, can't even speak at this point, a really young Philly. And he basically adopts her, that's the story. And then they go through a few stages of the life, uh, they go through how he teaches her flying and stuff like this, and how they connect, and it is... Not not really much happening. I also I don't want to talk down on slice of life. Slice, but uh, no, there is even slice of life has problems. Of course, they are not like in the in an adventure arc that there comes a demonic entity like Nightmare Moon or Discord or Chrysalis. This is for an adventure arc a story, but in slice of life. Take Slice of Life, the, the ultimate Slice of Life episode is pretty much Look Before You Sleep, I believe. Look Before You Sleep, the one with the sleepover at Twilight's. And the story is pretty basic in this one as well. It's really just three girls having a sleepover and two of those girls have very opposite personalities. And this is pretty much the setup and the rest is just happening around the setup. And the problem is basically their disharmony or their trouble to get along with each other in this closed space and in my little dashi it is really just uh, alive being living out there is uh, even so there are elements happening it is not a narrative it is really just like oh here happens this oh there happens this there is not a build-up there is not a uh, story that kind of goes all the way through it is really only focused on now we're getting to the meat of the uh, thing it is really only focused on the emotional connection between those two characters so the protagonist and uh, dash rainbow dash and this is pretty much what it is all about it is not about telling a story that is interesting it is about telling emotions if this makes any sense probably doesn't but yeah this is pretty much it is all about the emotions it is all about getting you in the heart getting you letting you really pushing the right buttons to make you cry and 
Oh yeah, I cried. I mean, if you haven't seen already, Jack's Blade made a video. And for those of you who don't know Jack's Blade, he is not active as a brony anymore, but he is still a brony, but he kind of focuses on other stuff right now. And he was one of the very early bronies. He used to be at least a regular member of all the mm, uh, bronies react to. I'm not sure if he will continue being part of this show because he kind of made a video explaining that he wants to turn down the whole uh, active brony part, whatever. Not the point. The point is that at one point he he is this he's a bodybuilder. He is a black bodybuilder. So he is pretty much the guy who is like holy crap. Uh, he, dusk, dusk he refers to himself as a manly brony because of his uh, mustache. But seriously, Jack's blades is testosterone. I mean, he played Bane for uh, Halloween and. Except the fact that his skin color did not perfectly match up. He was Bane. He was just this muscular, muscular person. Like, <laughs> so you have this hyper-trained guy, manly. He is actually, half of his content on his channel is about bodybuilding, healthy eating and powering and training and stuff. And you have this guy who's like, yo, dudes. I will now listen to my little dashi. And he sits down and he listens to the dramatic reading by Mix uh, Microphone, which has been enhanced by somebody else, so you will not find it on Mix Channel, with very sad background music, like Dead Island background music and stuff. And oh god, if you haven't seen this one yet, I dare you to watch it and not cry. Because in this video, this is a time lapse and Jake's Black, uh, Jake's Blades records himself watching through the whole thing and he is really just sobbing the whole time and or at the end he his face is completely puffed up his eyes are red he <laughs> can only talk like this and at this point jump right back to the beginning of the video when he is in completely cool mode and god the contrast is epic i i love this and uh, I don't know if you guys want I can do this myself like just putting a camera there and recording me for one and a half hours like listening to the story and crying like a baby <laughs> tears guaranteed I, I heard of people uh, who actually listened to it and did not have to cry because it did not work for the it did not touch the emotional strings it is supposed to touch but for most people this is just crying material and this is basically the thing of it it is not a good story i heard rumors about that the original author uh, of the story is like oh my god this is embarrassing why did i write this and he totally does not like what he wrote there because it is so cheesy and and corny and soppy and oh <laughs> but yeah this is pretty much what it is focusing on. It is not about the story, it is really just about playing on your heartstrings and getting to your emotional wise and it succeeds in this way. So this are my thoughts on my little dashi. It is uh, an interesting story, not for its narrative but for the effectiveness with which it reaches out to your emotions and it makes it, it does not affect you. It, it, it even has not necessarily a lasting effect at least for people who are not getting uh, invested in the story, like me. I was not invested in the story, I cried like a baby, but afterwards I was not depressed or heart shaking or anything like this. This was interesting, really interesting. Cry for about an hour and then you are like, okay, now moving on with my life, hmm, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> it's a completely strange experience. Nevertheless, uh, yeah, my little dashi. Uh, link in the description. Oh, link to this dramatic reading that triggered this reaction in the description. I would also love to put Jack Blade's reaction video into the description, but sadly, apparently, since I recorded the rest of this video about half a year ago, he decided to remove this video from his channel. So, if anybody can find uh, a link to his original sobbing video, please leave it in the comments and I will add it uh, right here on screen right now and in the description below. But from the looks of it, it apparently is gone. What is really a shame. It was amazing to watch, especially with the before mentioned 
animation jump from the end right back to the beginning, which pretty much displayed the difference so greatly. But yeah, nothing you can do about it. This is the NY Pony saying see you soon.